Hello everyone. So here's some very impressive footage. Check this out. This shows an exoatmospheric interception of an Iranian ballistic missile. This means the missile was actually intercepted outside the Earth's atmosphere in space. I believe this is the first time we've seen video of it happening in combat. This would be carried out by Arrow 3 Air Defense System, which travels through the lowest layer of space during its flight path and is actually designed specifically for these types of intercepts. This was just one of many missiles and drones launched by Iran at Israel last night. Here's a nice graphic showing the use of the Arrow 3. So it uses boosters to launch pretty much similar to a space rocket, which then burn out after getting the missile to a great height to intercept the target. At the moment, I'm not sure which Iranian missile this one was getting shot down. Here's a graphic showing the Arrow 3's role in Israel's impressive air defense network. So Iron Dome, handles the short range rockets and provides point defense. David Sling, the mid to long range missiles and rockets. And then we have Arrow 2 and Arrow 3, handling the long range ballistic missiles. Israel confirms that 185 drones, 36 cruise missiles and 110 unspecified surface to surface missiles were launched at Israel last night. It's unknown at the moment how many were intercepted and how many were shot down. This video here shows a number of interceptions over the Israeli parliament in Jerusalem. So this was a massive attack and clearly intended to overwhelm Israeli air defences with sheer numbers. But some did get through. This video here, for example, shows an impact of the Negev area of Israel. So we are going to have to wait and see how many were intercepted, how many got through, and of course the damage caused by this attack. And then, of course, we'll also have to wait and see what Israel's response could be. And I do expect Israel to respond to Iran here. Whether this becomes an actual war between the two, who knows? So, that's it for this video. A little diversion from Ukraine here, but I thought this was definitely worth covering. And the main focus on my videos are still going to be Ukraine and Russia. Thanks very much for watching, and take care, everybody.